just like a tailpiece, you don't want to tighten it too tight because those nuts will tend to strip out and pop. Okay. Now, we're going to put the waste, the uh, P-trap on. There's something about P-traps that you need to know about. Most people see it up under the sink and they, why does it loop down and come up? Why do we have a need for a P-trap? Well, the purpose of a P-trap is when the water comes in here, of course it goes out here. But when the water is done running, you still have amount of water that's trapped in here. That's why it's called a P-trap. It traps the water. Okay? So the water is trapped in here. Why is that water trapped in here? So that the sewer gases that go out to this end won't come back in and come up through here and come out into your house. The water stops the sewer gases before it comes back up into your house and that eliminates any sewer gas or any smells that you might get in your house. As you know, a constant smell of sewer gas can be harmful to your health. So it's important that you have a P-trap. You can find a P-trap on your floor drain, up under your, which is up under your uh, basement floor or floor in your utility room. You have P-traps on your tub and with the uh, toilet you have a built-in trap that is called an S-trap which allows the uh, when you flush the water allows the water to create a suction which sucks all the uh, the water most of the water out of the uh, toilet so that your waste could be washed away. Now that's the important thing about a P-trap. It's very important that you have a P-trap to where sewer gases won't come into your house. And every now and then, if you do get any kind of smell in your house, you might want to check your P-traps. Or you might want to check the P-traps in the floor drains. And just shine a flashlight down. If you don't see any water shining back at you, what you need to do is just get you a cup of water or, and just pour some water down in that P-trap and refill that P-trap so it's nice and wet so that the sewer gases don't come up in there. Okay, now with that, let's go ahead and put the P-trap on. All right. Now, let's slide the J-Bin inside, fitting. Line it up with the trap. Okay. Now, after I've glued it and lined it up and set it in place, I usually like to take another another dab of glue and just kind of top it off on the outside just to make sure we have that nice and secure. So I'll go on the outside of it and hit it. An extended piece and 